mice and rats. I can hear my bones cracking in this crypt. Rats and mice. Rats and mice. Yes, that's right. You hide something more. An object of great power. Yes, you do. The serpent's eye. Ah, but a piece of it. Yes, a bit. A piece of the eye. Hand it to me, rat, and I will spare your life. You wretched creature, you have allowed yourself to be dominated by dark magic and to be consumed. Giving you more power will only increase your greed. I will end this here and now. The cauldron demands bones and bones. It will have ribs and vertebrae and jaw bones and teeth. So be it then.
doing here surprised to see me this is what I call the active selling strategy if the customer doesn't come to you you go to the customer would you like to buy something
supposed to be why do you disturb me at the rest we are just passing through we did not mean to disturb talking rats and the dead coming to life and all queer forces abound in these parts you've not been talking to that buffoon o'brien have you ah he's the worst sort of fool he struts about piping and thinking he's god's gift to pipers and here's me seeing kids burst into tears and beasts in the field laying out and expiring when he starts playing. Ha! And who does he think he is? The greatest piper in Ireland. Not at all. 
That Connor belongs to Grand Ark Connor, and he alone. There's none pipe like he could since he left us. He perfected his style. In his dying days, he composed for himself a special song. The definitive piece. When he picked up the plane, your feet would fair start dancing on their own. Ah, it was. It was the ballad of Kilorglin's Puck Goat. It's a shame. But the old man went to his maker without writing out the sound. And I only remember the first part. Do you know what? I know a piper who remembers the missing part of the song. But I don't know if you'll like it if I tell you his name. For God, don't tell me it's not that fool O'Brien. It can't be true. Correct. You should forget your problems and get back to playing together. It would be great to hear that song in its entirety. Didi. I'll play then. I'll play with him, that O'Brien. He can't know the piece. O'Brien! Come, herring face, where are you? Come over here, and we'll play together the song of Kilorglin's Puck Goat! Amazing! I couldn't control my feet! So long it's been since last I heard that song. You're not such a bad sort after all, O'Brien. And not a half bad piper yourself. What a performance, O'Sullivan! You know how to play the pipes as well as any. We should do this more often, don't you think? Of course! Excellent. We'll leave you two alone to chat. I'm sure you have a lot to tell each other, and we're in a bit of a hurry. Bye-bye. If you ever want to hear the tune again, just you give us a holler. We've all the time in the world, eh, O'Sullivan? <laughs> you really have it in you, O'Brien. <laughs> Take these spectral bagpipes. Call for us any time, and we'll pipe for you.
Dead or alive, none shall pass this door so long as I guard it. My feet are rooted to the ground. You will not move me. Go back the way you came. I have an idea to get your feet off the ground. O oh, Sadivan, O'Brien, oh, I want to listen to your song again.
Many years has it been since any crossed the Three Stone Gate. You must be great indeed to have won the favor of my sisters. Tell me, little mice, what seek you in these lands? Hello, Yorgai. I am in search of Flora Barn, a witch pirate. She is dominated by greed and must be stopped before she hurts more people. Indeed, they say there is a witch he rebels. However, she may not be the one you seek. Are you worthy of my aid? Defeat me, and I will lead you to her. Yours is the true strength like the heroes of old. When tested, many are ultimately found wanting. Follow me, and I will show you the way.
This is the Witch of the Forest. <laughs> Your faces tell that I am not the one for whom you search. It is not the way of things for people to find what it is they want. Is that not right? Sometimes, instead, they find what it is they need. I propose to you a game. If you can defeat me, I will gift you a boon, my blessing. But should you lose, you will stay here with me and nourish the forest. What say you? Have we a bargain? I'm sorry, Yokai, but I'm not going to become your toy. I already have a destiny to fulfill. But I guess you won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Quite right. I do always get what I want. Let us begin. Impressive. I haven't met such a hero since Kuchalan. This has been most diverting. You have earned my heart. You will have now my favor and my protection. Go in peace.
guitars. What a pleasure. After so many years, a bit of company is certainly appreciated. There are no tortoises on this island, you know. I am the only one. We hawks, bill turtles, are Caribbean. But some fishermen brought me here entangled in their fishing nets. I have been trying for many years to return to my homeland. But it's too late. I got stuck in this cave and never managed to get out again. I'm too old to swim to the Caribbean. So I guess this cave will be my grave sooner rather than later. I am very sorry, Mrs. Carey. Don't worry. I'm not sad. <laughs> I have been lucky enough to live a long and relatively peaceful life. There is a lot of seaweed and edible ferns growing here. And I have found happiness in singing songs. This cave has incredible acoustics, you know. La, 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 la. What a voice! Quite a wonder for the ears. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> I wish we could help you get out of here, but you are too big and we are running out of time. If we could at least do something for you. There is one thing I would like. Ships sailing here from the Caribbean usually have delicious sea sponges stuck to the hull. Those sponges remind me of my childhood. Back when I lived in Cayo Coco, nothing would make my day more than one last bite of a delicious sea sponge. We'll see what we can do. Here you go, Mrs. Curry. I brought you the sponge you like so much. Oh, thank heavens. A sea sponge. Please take this as a token of my thanks. And now allow me to rest. I wish you good luck with the rest of your adventures.
Brought back the picture of my wife. Oh, but isn't she pretty? How can I repay you for returning it to me? Actually, that cloth parrot would be good for us. Excellent. Here you go. Thank you for your help. Blacksmith is a bit sensitive. What with his name and the Admiral's name being the same. Don't hold it against him, will ya? Have you also come looking for Admiral Benjamin Blacksmith? I'm Benjamin THE Blacksmith, and I'm sick to death of being interrupted asking about the other Benjamin. Damn it, I think I'll change my name to William and become a Norwegian salmon fisherman. Then there'll be no more confusion. I can't take it anymore! Leave me alone! I was just coming to sharpen my weapon. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to lose my temper, but I've been suffering so much with this confusion for so long that I'm turning into an ogre. I used to be a nice guy, you know. I had friends, I used to tell jokes, and I loved visitors. But now, I prefer the solitude of my work with the whetstone. I have devoted so many hours to this task that there is no one better at sharpening than me, without a doubt. If you give me your weapon, I can upgrade it. Do you want to see? <laughs> now let me work. I want to be alone. Surprise! You brought me some black pepper! You're a true friend. This soup is pure fire! I love it! Take some soup with you in this jar. It'll help you stay warm.
Yes, I love it. At last, I'm a buccaneer now. Oh, I'll sail the seven seas and my name will be feared by all. Ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. I owe you one, mate. I swear I remember your help. But I... Give me your hand. Let's seal the deal. This pirate deal. That's nasty, man. Me and now go touch your hand. As you like. Doesn't matter anyhow. I'll always remember your help. Or At least accept this first aid kit as a small token of my thanks. I'm going to live life to the fullest. I'm going to look danger in the eye and dance with death on top of a barrel of rum. A real pirate doesn't need a first aid kit or medical insurance. Those are for cowards. Well, what do we have here? This ain't mine. You can keep it. Oh well, what do we have here? This ain't mine. You can keep it. Oh well, what do we have here? This belongs to me. Thank you so much for getting it back. Oh well, what do we have here? This ain't mine. You can keep it. Oh well. What do we have here? This belongs to me. Thank you so much for getting it back. Oh well, what do we have here? This ain't mine. You can keep... Oh well, what do we have here? This ain't mine. You can keep it. Oh well. What do we have here? This belongs to me. Thank you so much for getting it back. Oh well. What do we have here? 
This ain't mine. You can keep it. Oh well. What do we have here? This belongs to me. Thank you so much for getting it back. Bravo! You found it all. You're real treasure hunters, eh? I was lucky you crossed my path. I hope that one day we'll meet again. Emilio and I will continue to travel the world. I wish you luck with your adventure. See you soon.
What did you do to that kid? Blimey, you've arrived at the perfect time. After all, you can't start a party without the guests of honor. Well, you and the amulet you have, the real star of the show. <laughs> I won't say it again. Let the kid go and give me the ring. You have three seconds. Oh, for the love of... Can't you relax a bit and just enjoy the tea party? If you give me the amulet, I'll make us all human again. And we can all escape from this accursed place. I have honor, Flora. Something you do not. I said, let the kid go. Time is running out. I'd rather tear my ears off with a corkscrew than listen to this brat again. He does look like an angel, sleeping there. If only he could stay that way, he'd never grow up to become an anchorhead like his father. Wouldn't that just be ideal? <laughs> on board, do we? Did you bring the old guy along to scare me? Really? They should have inscribed a warning on the medallion. Warning. Contains grumpy grandpa. Open with caution. <laughs> Flora, the time has come for you to repay your debt. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, I surrender. Stop giving me such a hard time already. Jeez. Between the kid and the old guy, these lectures are going to make my head explode. I mean, my tombstone will say something like, Flora Byrne, Captain, Witch, Villain, beloved by all who knew her, died tragically of mental fatigue. The kids, the mercenaries, and the smelly old ghost just wouldn't shut up. <laughs> I guess you don't find my jokes funny, huh? Tough crowd. All right then, we'll do this the old-fashioned way. But I'll warn you, I don't fight fair. Fighting me is gonna feel like you've been scratched, red raw, and dunked in the ocean. Yaha! is over, Flora. Surrender! You have no escape. By thunder, you are some sneaky rats. I don't think I can keep up anymore. Oh no! I'm done for! <laughs> Did you really think that was it? You've fallen into my trap! 
You'll never be human again! Quick, there's no time to lose. Flora is heading back to the beach. It was all a trap from the start to get you away from the ship. Shortfuse Jones was talking about it while they held me prisoner. She was waiting for Blacksmith's men to repair the ship, so she could steal it and set sail. We have to hunt her down before she gets away or we'll lose track of her forever. You've got guts. I'll take care of the kid. Let's defeat the witch together. Is it you chiefly desire? I can do much with my dark powers. Perhaps murder? Torture? Just say the word. I want to use the ancestral door. Where's it gone? I'm afraid I cannot access such powers, Ring Bearer. Oyun was capable of such things, but I cannot. But Flora could teleport. She had access to her own dark and powerful magic. However, if it is of interest, I could teach you them. Better not. Thank you. I'll walk.
Another tooth! It won't be long now before Sam is smiling again. And that witch Flora will get what she deserves. How handsome is my Sammy? Oh, how I've missed his beautiful smile. The day of his homecoming has finally arrived. Smiley Sam. We'll say the seas and plunder once more. We have no time to waste. I, I will begin the ritual. to you, Dolores. I'll remember you a little taller and with less mustache. <laughs> I suspect Flora had something to do with it. Or am I wrong? Go on with you. You haven't lost your spark, you scoundrel. You're looking very thin, but I don't mind. It's what's on the inside that counts. But we'll have plenty of time later for catching up. Right now, it's time for revenge. Of course, Goddess. Where's Flora? Tell me where that treacherous harp is hiding herself. I'm gonna make her suffer slowly. <laughs> So this is what your strange magic can do. We are after Flora, too. We have been following her trail of misdeed for some time now. Come with us, and we'll lead you to her. She kidnapped a boy and stole a ring from us. Her head and the rest of the root are for you. We have a tail! <laughs> How handsome is my Sammy? Oh, how I've missed his beautiful smile.
Like to buy something? <laughs> 